In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Claude custom projects to create exactly the right output for your needs. When you set up the right Claude project, you'll be able to always get the results you want without having to repeat your instructions over and over again, which is a great time saver. So to access Claude projects, you just need to go to Claude.ai. You can go to the projects section right there. And this is how you get to this screen. So here it says how to use Claude, an example project that includes double, that also doubles as a how-to guide for using Claude. So if I open that, I can chat with it to learn more about how to get the most out of chatting with Claude. As you can see here, I have some project knowledge, which is a Claude prompting guide. So if I press on it, I can see the contents of this file. And it's formatted in markdown format, so to make it easier, to read that, I'm just going to paste that in there. And this is saying something like this. So let's open this up. So the, again, this is the document that is attached to this project. It's the project knowledge, in other words. So this is saying, generatives for effective prompting, be clear and specific, use examples, encourage thinking. So you can add any guidance and documents and a knowledge that makes sense for your business, for your company within this specific project. The great thing is that when I have a chat with Claude and ask it, what can you tell me about the basics of a great prompt? This will automatically reference the Claude prompting guide right there. If I were to take this prompt and go to Claude and ask the same thing, it will give me similar results, but, or rather, it will give me similar similar results because it's been tested and trained on this data. So it knows more or less what is a good prompt, right? However, this document or this answer is much more specific because it follows th those guidelines that were given it in the project so here we can see we can see a great prompt is essential clarity be specific and unambiguous about what you're asking so here it's saying be clear and specific state your task provide context bring complex tasks into smaller manageable steps use examples so here it says mentions examples so when appropriate includes examples to illustrate what you're looking for very basic answer here it's saying use examples, provide examples of the kind of output you're looking for. If you want a specific format or style, show an example. And this comes directly from, so if I search for examples, it says provide examples. If you want a specific format, show close an example. So this is pulling directly from that document. So let me just close that. So that is essentially how to use Claude with the project that is included. But let's say that I want to create my own project. So I call, I'm calling this Kevin test project. Let's say I want to, I don't know, um, build a great YouTube outline. Create project. And let's say that I want to add some custom instructions and knowledge base. When it comes to the knowledge base, what I'm gonna do is going back to Claude and say, like I'm build, imagine this is the document that you would already have built. So give me 10 specific, specific ideas on what goes into a great YouTube script. Hit enter. And I'm gonna say for each example, give, or for each item, give three examples of good and bad stuff. So for the first one, just compelling hook is giving three good examples. Okay, just starting with the good, I guess. And it's giving more than three examples for each, but that's all good. Let's see if it brings or outputs the bad stuff as well. Good, but okay, it's a bit slightly, I see, okay, the formatting is a bit off, so can you, can you format the above message properly as 
follows. So let's grab the first one, paste it in there. The bad should go underneath there. The good should go there. This shouldn't have a bullet point. Uh, let's see if we manage to do this. And let's say this should be an H2 and this should be an H3. So copy that, paste that and see if this will format this better. So compiling hook, good, bad, good, bad, looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new document. So docs.new, I'm going to grab this, remove the markdown, paste that in there, And I'm gonna give it a title. Um, let's see if we can grab a title from here. 10 specific ideas for creating a great YouTube script. Specific ideas for creating a great YouTube script. So this will be an H1. And I'm gonna save this as a whatever PDF that I'm now going to add as custom information for my project. So if I add that it's now added as my project knowledge as you can see I use one percent of the knowledge size available so I can add quite a lot more custom knowledge there but I can also set my custom instructions for this project so always reply with a positive tone formal language and use the most complex words possible to answer so let's save that and this will be like specific instructions that are that or that lay on top of all of the information here so I want to create a video about training your dog can you help me with a with an outline and let's see if it will follow these ideas so it should have a compelling hook should have a clear structure should have a conversational tone should have a storytelling element but i also wanted to um, have complex language and the first thing i see is this exordium provocative inquiry what if i divulged in that your canine companion possesses and the potential equivalent to that of a genius in the subsequent duration he shall acquire the arcane knowledge to metamorphose your unruly hound <laughs> into the paragon of obedience. I'd say that is quite advanced language. I recall the day my own <laughs> Tina companion. That sounds like we're writing some Shakespearean novel. So I think it's safe to say that this really followed the instructions to the letter. So let's go back to the test project. As you can see, now I have the chat down here. And instead of saying always reply with a positive tone, formal language, and use the most complex words possible, and use the and use grade for language that anyone that even a small baby can understand. Save instructions. Uh, let's see if I can copy the prompt, copy that, paste it there, and hit enter. So now I should get pretty much the same kind of outline, but. As you can see, even the prompt says, here's a simple outline that a young child could understand. Hello and welcome, say hi to everyone, tell them we're going to learn about training dogs. Why train your dog? Dogs can dogs learn to be good friends, keep them safe, it's fun for your dog. Basic commands, says stay calm. So as you can see, it's very, very basic, especially compared to the advanced language in the previous video, which can be a great thing if we're going for this kind of audience. Um, so we have to compare the two side by side. You can see that there's a big difference. Can I? Nope, because this is already full screen, I guess. Let's see, side by side. Yep, so this is the simple version. This is the complex version. They both have um, 
like why train your dog which is kind of Jesus there's the basic commands so here it's speaking about essential commands basic commands. so the outline is somewhat similar because it's basing it on the um, specific ideas for creating the great YouTube script I gave it but the outline and the way it's structured and the language it uses is very different based on the um, what's it called custom instructions that I gave it so this is Claude and its version of custom GPTs that you can run in OpenAI's chat GPT it's a similar kind of tool it's a useful kind of tool so definitely play around with it and build your custom projects to repeat and to be able to get the projects that you do the most often to like browse through them as quickly as possible okay so i hope you found it useful if you did hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos and in the meantime i'll speak to you in the next one have a great day